Okay, you guys, so for those of you who don't know, the real co-host Jeannie Mai and rapper Young Jeezy just married two months ago on March 27, 2021. And from the small moments and clips that were shown by Jeannie, the wedding decor and wedding itself were absolutely beautiful. However, people noticed that Jeannie's co-hosts of The Real, Tamara, Lonnie, and Adrian were not in attendance at this beautiful gathering, and it left people wondering what was going on between them. And thankfully, we didn't have to wonder what was going on too long because in one of Jeannie's recent lives that she did on social media, a fan asked her the burning question that all of us wanted to know, like, why weren't your co-hosts slash friends in attendance to your very important special day, which was your wedding? And here is what Jeannie had to say. Check it out. Um, okay, next question here. Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> was, the, was the real family invited to the wedding? So... We had a very COVID safe wedding in our home, which means there was, I mean, literally just a couple, there were two tables in our living room of our closest, closest family and friends, people I grew up with, people that had to know me and Jay. Those were the two rules. Jay made my list and I made his list. And we were very firm on, because of COVID, you know, you're not supposed to be throwing events right now. You're not supposed to be, you know, um, putting anybody in risk. And so with our family, we said, we are only going to invite our close family and people who know us both. And so if you hadn't met both of us and you hadn't spent time with us, then we thought this would be best for you to be there at the wedding later on. Cause we will have a wedding with where everybody can be invited. Cause I'm sure, you know, Jay has a, a guest list that of people that were, you know, were so special to him, but they didn't know me and, and vice versa. So no, I didn't invite the ladies, but I did call them all ahead of time to let them know that we were doing this. They were actually the first to know that we were having a secret ceremony and they kept their secret. And so when we have the wedding later on, you know, um, hopefully things can change them because COVID now, anything could happen. Okay, you guys, so after hearing Jeannie Mai's explanation of everything, I agreed with her. It made sense. With everything going on with COVID, you know, it's only logical that you would only want your guests at your very important day in your wedding to be people who really know both you and the groom. So it makes sense. However, when I was scrolling down in the comment section of her live, I saw one small comment that stood out that she actually liked and hearted, which of course means that Jeannie agrees with it. The comment said, it's funny how once Adrian actually said, you all were just quote unquote coworkers and people expect you to invite your coworkers to your wedding. No, no. And people can grow apart and I feel as though you have grown apart slightly from the ladies in the real, and that's fine. You're not gonna sometimes have the same relationship with someone like you did three years ago. That's cool. Coworkers at this point, I see how over the years you've been not included in certain things, mistreated, etc. Everyone at some point has given you attitude while you brush it off. I notice, and you laugh it off for some reason. You have every right to live your life how you want it. I've seen a big disconnect with you and the ladies from the real, even even though they try to smile and portray a different picture, it upsets me how you are treated sometimes. You are too kind to everyone. Now you gotta stop calling people friends just cause you work with people. And all the best to you and Jeezy. Now even though Jeannie Mai didn't express those exact words or feelings out of her mouth, her liking the comment and giving it a heart means that she either partially or fully agreed with that statement. And apparently it seems like her co-hosts Adrian and Lonnie have been feeling some type of way about this even though they haven't like directly said anything from their own mouths either however lately they've thrown a little light shade and it seems to be towards Jeannie Mai check it out I feel like this quarantine and this pandemic has taught me so much about all the things I can live without it also taught me the things that I can't live without like family and loved ones but it's really taught me all the things that I can live without and I actually started looking at my bank statements because now I had the time to review these things. And I was like, damn, yo, I've been saving so much. I'm talking thousands of dollars. Yes. You know how many social experiences, dining experiences I used to spend thousands of dollars on on a weekly sure. basis? Entertaining sure. friends that probably didn't like me and that I may have half liked. Ooh. Let me tell you, Ooh. I have saved so much money.
so much money entertaining friends that probably didn't like me and that I may have half liked. Ooh. Let me tell you, Ooh. I have saved so much money. So much money. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so after seeing and hearing all of that, let me know your honest opinions down below in the comments section. Like, do you guys think that they were shading Genie Mai, and was it deserving? Anyways, you guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you actually liked it and enjoyed it and want more content like it. And also make sure that you subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss a single video that I upload and post for you guys. And please go ahead and share this video if you care and to help get this channel to 50K. Thank you, guys. Love you. Peace.